Here is how you use the Samsung Z Fold 6 for beginners. So let's first look around the phone. At the bottom here, we have a speaker. Below that is the charging port. And to the left, this is a microphone. If we look at the side here, we have the power button, the volume rockers, and then the SIM card tray. If we look at the very top, we have another speaker and then three microphones there. And then if we look at the left hand side, we have the hinge. You use two fingers, one on both sides of the screen and then push to open up the phone like that. Inside of the box, you will seem to have noticed that it looks like there is nothing in here. However, if you flip the top part of the box over, there is this leaflet which you can pull out. And this leaflet has your charging cable and it also has the SIM ejector tool. As there is only the cable in the box, you do need to buy a USB-C charging brick in order to charge the device. The best charging brick is the super fast charging one. And if you Google the 25 watt Samsung fast charge, and then you go to the Samsung website, you're looking for the 25 watt super fast charging travel adapter. And then that one will have the fastest charging capability. To insert a SIM, while the phone is open, you use the thin end of your SIM ejector tool and you place that into the hole of the SIM card tray and push down and then use your nail to reveal the SIM card tray. You will have a dual SIM card slot if you buy unlocked from Samsung's website. If you buy unlocked from Amazon, sometimes it will only have one SIM and for a carrier, it will have one SIM slot. You just match the ridge of the SIM card with the ridge of the tray and then place it in and it should fit nice and flush. If it doesn't fit, then you're on the wrong side of the tray, so just flip it over. And then once that is done, you can just place the tray back in, rub it with your finger to make sure it's properly inserted. When your phone has been set up, we have the home screen here. And if we swipe up, this will show all of our applications. You can drag and drop any app from here and then you can add that one to your home screen and you can have multiple pages as well. You download apps from either Google Play Store or Galaxy Store. Depending on the store, there are exclusive apps. However, most people do use the Google Play as this does have the largest app library. Looking at the buttons here, if we click the power button once, it will sleep the phone. And if we long press it, it will activate the assistant known as Bixby. So if we agree to the permissions, this is the voice assistant. So you can say voice commands and then uh, she will listen to those. Now there are some uh, key combinations you should know. So the first one is if we long press both power and volume down. So if we long press these two together and release, this is the power menu. And so this is where you power off and restart the phone. If you don't like holding these two together, because sometimes it's a little bit annoying, then you can go to the side button settings and you can program the power button to go to the power off menu instead of awake Bixby. If you click and release both the power and volume now, so just click release these two, that will take a screenshot like this. You can also do a palm swipe to take a screenshot. It's a little bit hard, but that is an easier way to take a screenshot as well. Now, if your phone is ever frozen, just press and hold power and volume down for 10 seconds and then release, and that will forcefully restart your phone. So if there's any software glitches, that will help with that one. Now on our home screen, if we swipe down from the top, we have the control panel. So you have these quick toggles here, you have your brightness slider. And then if we swipe down again, we can see more toggles. See all these features here. And you can swipe across to view the toggles. Under the pencil, you can customize these options. So if we want to add some toggles, we'll tap the edit option. 
And a toggle I like to add is the text screenshot toggle. So if we drag and drop this quick toggle, and then we swipe down twice, we should be able to select the take screenshot option. So there it is, take screenshot. And when you tap this one, that is the easiest way to take a screenshot. On the Z Fold 6, we have many cameras. There's one here, three here, and then there's also one under the screen. You can see it's kind of hidden there. So if we want to use the cameras, what we can either do from a lock screen, we can swipe diagonally to open the camera app. We can also tap the camera app from a home screen, or we can double click the power button. So click, click, and that will open the camera. So depending on where you are, if you are uh, in the clamshell mode, which is this, you see the phone's folded up. Uh, then we have the rear camera and the front one, which is this one. If your phone is opened, the front camera is this camera here. So if we go back into the camera, the general idea is this icon at the bottom right flips the camera. You have the camera lenses you can tap on. You can slide to change your zoom to whatever you would like. You tap the white button to take a picture. And if you're on video, you tap that to take a video. You have the camera customization at the top here, but you don't really want to be changing this stuff. You can either turn on flash or you know, turn on a timer. There is a selfie button. So with the Z Folds, you can use the rear camera system to take selfie pictures. So if we tap selfie and then we open the phone and then we flip it, you can see we can use the, uh, you know, this screen here to preview what we see from the rear camera. And so this will take the best front pictures. When taking front pictures, you don't want to look at the screen as your eyes will look off. You can see that looking to the right. What you want to do is you want to look right below the bottom camera and that will make your eyes look uh, centered just like you're taking a selfie picture. If you're only one times, that is where the uh, one times camera is right here. But for best results, you want to look right under that bottom camera. So when we take a picture, uh, you can see the eyes are aligned like that. Otherwise, it may look a little bit weird. You will notice we have these buttons here. So the middle button is the home button. It brings you home. And then this button here is the back button. So in some apps, it will bring you to the previous menu. If you're on the home page of an app, it will bring you home. We have the three lines here, and this opens multitasking. So you can see all the apps which are in the background. If you go home on an app, it still remains in the background and you can flick up like this to close the app or you can select the close or option like that. As the inside screen is quite large, you may want to do a split screen. So to do a split screen, you open the first app you would like to split screen. We have this white bar here and you swipe to the left to reveal it. You can drag and drop an app here or if you don't see the second app you want to split screen, tap the nine dots and then drag and drop the second app and it will split screen. You can do up to three applications like this. If you want more than three, the fourth app has to be dropped in the middle and it's in this floating pop out view. And if you tap the three dots here, you can favorite this split screen. And so if I just favorite this guy, and I add it to my home screen. When you tap this app pair, that's what it's called, it will just open all of those three applications quickly inside the display screen view. There is also S Pen support through S Pen Fold Edition or Pro Edition. If you buy the Z Fold 6 from Samsung's website, you will get this case for free, only in some countries, but you'll get the case for free. And so the case may be a little bit complex to use, so I'll just quickly show it. By default, the pen is like this, and you can't pull it like that. So you see this latch at the top, pull down from the very top using your nail, and when you push down, it will reveal the S Pen, and then you can just push it up like that. And to put it back in place, you do the reverse, 
So the nib of the pen, you first push to the bottom and then you push the pen down into its case. Now when we have the S Pen, this doesn't work on the uh, outside screen, it only works on the inside screen. There is no setup, it just automatically works, it's plug and play, you can tap the pen icon to view your uh, shortcuts, and you can tap the add to add any shortcuts you would like. And this pen uh, button here, that is essentially an eraser, so if I go and I write a note and then I long press the pen icon it uses the eraser so I can erase any content like that. So that is the beginner's guide. Hopefully this video helps. Any questions let me know and I will answer them.